Believe it or not, forests started out as barren rock without any life. Over time, these ecosystems are changed as new communities replace older ones through the process of ecological succession. When succession starts on barren land, it is called primary succession. New, lifeless land is still created today. The formation of this land is often the result of volcanic eruptions and receding glaciers. New, rocky terrains are not well suited for life, and only a few organisms are able to survive these harsh conditions. The first organisms to move into these harsh growing conditions are known as the pioneer populations. Lichens and mosses can grow on the surface of rocks and serve as these pioneer species. Erosion of rocks and the decomposition of organic matter builds up the soil in the ecosystem. Creating and improving this layer of soil is a key process in ecological succession. The formation of fertile soil allows plants called annuals to replace the pioneer community. These plants only live one year, and each year a new population germinates, flowers, and dies. Since annuals die each year, they keep adding nutrients to the soil. This allows perennial plants like grasses and ferns that live for more than two years to replace the annuals. Eventually, the soil can sustain larger vascular plants like shrubs and bushes that live for longer periods of time. These larger shrubs and bushes block out the sun and keep it from reaching the grasses below. This causes a decline in the grass community as the shrubs and bushes take over. Finally, once the soil has become deep and fertile, trees begin to grow. This usually begins with softwood trees. These trees are conifers, which have cones like pine and fir trees. Just like the shrubs and bushes blocked out light from the grasses, these new trees block out light from the shrubs and bushes. This causes a decline in the previous community as the softwood trees take over. Eventually, Hardwoods, like oak and maple trees, can replace the conifers. These trees require the best soil, so they join the plant community last. However, they can grow to great heights and some can live for over a thousand years. One community keeps replacing another until a stable, climax community is reached. The stable, mature forest will sustain itself as long as the climate stays the same. The process of barren land becoming a climax community can take over 1,000 years. Plant and animal communities continue to modify the environment in a way that allows new communities to outcompete and replace the old ones. It is important to understand that because climate plays such an important role in the development of a climax community, not every ecosystem will become a forest. Forests require plentiful rainfall and sunlight. And in a desert, grassland, or tundra, the climate simply will not support a forest community. As one community of organisms replaces another throughout ecological succession, the biomass and biodiversity of the ecosystem both increase. This means that the amount of matter found in living tissues and the number of different species both go up in an ecosystem as it travels through the stages of succession.